get started. We've heard from all the coaches. Let's take a look at some season openers. We've heard from a somewhat concerned Jeff Brom after a couple of scrimmages in recent weeks. Rick, we've just come from his news conference out on the Louisville campus previewing Austin P. Take a quick listen to a sample of what he had to say. It's how football works. As you look at uh, the three main games that were played this past week, and I told him even before this weekend, if you don't come ready to play in college football, you're not going to win. And you had two upsets, and the other one should have been an upset. And luckily, SMU hung in there to the end and found a way to win. Uh, and it just goes to show you that uh, there's a lot of parity in college football. And if you don't come ready to play uh, and, and, and try to play your very best game you step on the field, you're, you're not going to win. Great job. And uh, does that mean we scored a touchdown? Uh, 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 I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to hear that a lot if we can. <laughs> I believe that was the phone of our buddy Ed Peak that went off. But are we going to see a lot of touchdowns from Louisville? What did you think of uh, what were your impressions of what he had to say? Um, I thought he was a little bit more um, upbeat, positive than he'd been after that last scrimmage. Uh, one thing I'll say about Jeff Brom throughout the whole preseason, he's been very, very complimentary of his defense the entire time. I think he believes the Louisville defense is going to be really good this year. Um, and they should get off to a good start playing an Austin P team, which only returns one starter from last year and yeah. has an entirely new roster and a new coaching staff. Uh, but he has questions, like we all have questions about the offense, and that's just the way it is in this new era of college football with the transfer portal. Yeah, and he's got that example of the Florida State upset and some other upsets around the, those early week zero games in college football to kind of point his players to. But you're right. I mean, if they are ahead of the game defensively, which is what he believes that they are, then, then that's a really good thing for Louisville. I think I still believe offensively they're better at quarterback. I think. Uh, I think they're certainly better at tight end. They feel like they're deeper on the offensive line. They're not better at running back. We don't know about the wide receiver. There's Ja'Cory Brooks, and it's a guy that Louisville's really going to count on at wide out with Colin Lacey out. So our question marks really with this team are who are the playmakers on offense? The good news for them, th this is the first time since 2016 that they haven't opened with a somewhat intriguing game. Even when they opened with West Kentucky, that was a, that was a close game. Uh, they're prohibitive favorites in this game. This is, you know, this is not, should not be a tough matchup for them. And they've got a chance to work some things out and iron some things out. Yeah, uh, as you mentioned, they're a 36 and a half point favorite uh, in this game. Um, the one thing that we do know is that Jeff Brown has been a head coach. I believe this is his 11th season and at least eight of them. He's had really, really strong offensive numbers. The track record is proven, whether it was at Western Kentucky, whether it was at Purdue and over a course of a number of those seasons, he's had to replace guys the way he's had to replace them this year. And he knows what he's doing. And I think by the time they get to game three, which will be Georgia tech, uh, after they play Austin P and Jacksonville state that will. Uh, we'll see an offense that's that's very good. Yeah, and they better be ready for Georgia Tech because we saw what they could do. Yes, over we the, saw what they could do last year over the weekend. You can catch every episode of Overtime on WDRB Plus. Download the app on your phone or TV today.